Okay, so what kind of camera are you gonna be shooting your food with? I wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of people wanna use their phones or their smaller cameras or their point and shoots, so I kinda wanted to talk about the difference between the two. Now obviously the quality of an iPhone or any sort of mobile phone will be different than a larger, more professional or prosumer camera. The camera I'm using right now is a mirrorless Fuji X-T1 uh, with a 56 millimeter lens. I have right here an iPhone 6 Plus um, and I just kind of wanted to show you the differences in look. The big thing with professional looking photography is the depth of focus and the ability to control the exposure and see into contrast basically, basically seeing light versus dark. With a lens, an interchangeable lens, you're going to be able to create that depth of focus much more easily than you would with a phone. Now let's look really quick at the same compositional shot from a phone versus a mirrorless camera. So you've already seen sort of our shots from our mirrorless camera, so let's go ahead and take a shot again, just so you have reference. This is with the black negative fill that we talked about in lighting over our salad that we created with our kind of look. Now let me move the mirrorless camera away, and then we'll go ahead and try and shoot the same shot with an iPhone. So if we stand right here, right away we can see we're too wide. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and get the same similar shot that we had before. So right away I'm sacrificing the quality and the pixels of the camera on the phone because I'm zooming in so much. So let's zoom out and see if we can get full frame and get closer. It's a little bit harder because of our placement of our card, so I would move our card back, but let's just take a shot here for now just to see, and we can crop it later. So you can see on the iPhone, the shot's pretty much all in focus. There's not a lot of depth of field. There's not a lot of shallowness. Whereas the mirrorless Fuji shot with the prime lens and the 2.8 aperture, which is, a, which is the aperture of the phone, um, adds this depth of focus that really looks more professional and more high quality. So you can create a great shot with your phone, and you can also create an even better, more professional looking shot with a mirrorless or DSLR camera with an interchangeable lens. I feel like if you're trying to maximize that professional quality look, you're gonna wanna go with the photography camera, like the camera that's meant to do photos as opposed to a phone that has a camera on it. Other aspects of it would be the actual digital file. Megapixels on these cameras, on the bigger professional cameras, will get you more space in editing later, which we can talk about, having looks into the shadows and pulling back the whites and all that, um, versus a phone, which is much harder to um, have that dynamic range and be able to color and edit as much as possible.